Hey, welcome back to BK Garage. It's engine swap time in the Monte Carlo.
Okay, got the crank pulley swapped over from the other engine, the adapter for the oil pressure sender, motor mounts on. My assistant's just finishing cleaning up the old gaskets off the headers. Everything cleaned up under the hood. Put a compression fitting on the steel fuel line so I can put braided line on there instead of rubber hose. Gotta love the engine compartment on a Monte Carlo. I've never had a vehicle before that I could pull an engine with the hood on. Just fits. I think we're ready to swing this thing into place.
exhaust is on. Yep, everything on the bottom buttoned up except the dust cover and the starter. Got to pick up a new high torque unit for it tomorrow, and that's ready to go on. I'll check the clearance to the ring gear, make sure everything's good there, shim it accordingly, dust cover back on, the bottom's finished. Put a braided fuel line on now so there's no more rubber in the front end. Only piece of rubber hose left in the whole fuel system is coming from the sending unit to the hard line off the tank. There's about a six inch piece there. Maybe not quite even that long. My engine ground hooked up here. Went to put my power steering pump on and it wouldn't fit. The bracket is hitting my timing pointer. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut a chunk out of the back corner of the bracket where it fits in around behind the water pump here and just put a bolt in the front. This water pump is threaded too. The old one I can't remember if that hole was threaded or if I drilled it out to work with this bracket. So it'll just mount from the one point at the front now and then on the side over here when I put the other bracket on.
Carbs on, fuel lines hooked up. I get a little ball stud off the other carb yet to put on the throttle linkage. I can hook it up. Gotta wire an MSD 6AL box into this thing yet. Put the starter on, fill it with coolant, it's ready to fire. That was a good day. Continuing on with the engine install. I had a ready to run distributor in the old engine. So I'm putting in a 6AL box, start retard box because I'm running lock timing. I wanted to add an underhood kill switch. So I just made an aluminum panel to mount everything to. I'm gonna bolt this to the inner fender well, tie in all the wiring. Time to see if it'll fire up in the car. The timing light ready to go. Got my remote starter switch hooked up. Crank it a bit and see if we get some fuel pressure. Oh, we got fuel pressure.
that open up, make sure the coolant's full. I'll check for leaks. Got everything finished up. Move that heater hose out of the way. Let's get the ignition box, the start retard, master kill switch. Got my tax signal wire hooked up now. If you watch the wiring video on this car, you'll remember I did everything like this so it's out in the open, it's easy to work on at the track. If there's ever a problem, it's really, really simple to troubleshoot. Everything's on relays, fan, lights, ignition. And last year, the one day I finished a pass and my fan quit, the car started getting warm. So I got back to the pits and just quickly swapped plugs between the lights and the fan relays, the way the fan went. Wired my tack in. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, please like, share, subscribe, tell your grandma. I'll see you on the next one.